our channel. Today we will tell you about the top 10 scariest roads in the world. It's easier to stay away from haunted houses, but what if it's a road and not a house, and you have to pass the road to reach your destination? These roads either can be haunted or may look like they're haunted, but being there will scare you, especially at night. People are terrified to pass by these roads. Before we begin with the countdown, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and tap on the bell icon for more amazing and interesting videos. The roads we chose for our list today are some of the most terrifying. Stay with us to the end of the video to check out the scariest road placed at number one. In the list of top 10's most scariest roads at number 10, we have A75 Kinmont Strait, Southwest Scotland. This is known as one of the most haunted roads in Scotland for over 50 years. There are too many sightings and paranormal activities reported by people. A truck driver once reported that he saw a couple that came in front of his truck suddenly and were hit by the truck, but when he stopped the truck, they were nowhere to be seen. Apart from this, many other such stories are shared and reported by people, which are unexplainable and may seem like a scenario from a horror movie. However, due to this, the road is named as the most scariest road in Scotland. People are terrified to pass by this road, even in the daytime. At number 9, we have Kelly Road, Ohioville, Pennsylvania. This road has been reported as haunted and a place of paranormal activities for a long time. People saw many animals who were peaceful, but when they reached on the road, they become violent and started attacking other animals and even human beings. Road is covered by a creepy forest from both sides. People have heard mysterious sounds and noises from the sides of the road. No one knows really what is wrong here, but some people have belief that due to some bad things happened here in the past, some also say it is cursed for some reason. At number eight, we have Dead Man's Curve, Claremont County, Ohio. Dead Man's Curve is a dangerous turning intersection in Claremont County, according to the most common reports at the place where 222 meets Slate Route 125. The road was part of the Ohio Turnpike built in 1831, and it has a long list of victims. On October 19, 1969, five teenagers died there when their 1968 Impala was hit at more than 100 miles an hour by a 1969 Roadrunner. There was only one survivor, a guy named Rick. Ever since that day, the faceless hitchhiker, whom Rick has seen five times, has haunted the intersection. It is described as the pitch black silhouette of a man, three-dimensional silhouette, according to the Haunted Ohio Third. Rick's friend Todd said, Rick and I were headed home from Bethel to Amelia. I noticed a man's shape on the side of the road. It turned like it was hitchhiking, with an arm striking up. The thing wore light-colored pants, a blue shirt, long hair, and blank flat surface where the face should have been. We looked back, there was nobody there. I've also seen the black shadow figure walking at slow, labored dragging walking by the side of the road. Due to rerouting the actual location of Dead Man's Curve is someone in doubt. They say it is at 222 and SR 125 near Bantam Road. As you know, head east on 125, 220 turn turns right towards Felicity, and Bantam Road turns left toward East Fork Lake South Park. The spot is just below a carryout. At number seven, we have Boone County, Illinois. In the city of Belvedere in Boone County, Illinois, there is an intersection that has been the site of many hauntings, particularly the Bloods Point Road. Apart from this, the place is also connected with many other roads. Many people think that there are causes behind paranormal activities in this area. First, the place is notorious for many suicide accidents. Secondly, many train accidents also happened at the spot. This road is popular for unexplainable sightings reported by many people over the years. People are frightened to visit the spot. At number six, we have Stockbridge Bypass, England. The road, which was finished being built in 1989, runs around the north sides of Stockbridge and its valley. It has been the location of many hauntings. Over time, there has been sightings of children playing late at night under the bridge and a monk who just stands and looks out. One sighting of the monk prompted a police investigation, which ultimately provided no explanation. Other people have heard the sounds of children singing in the vicinity when there is none to be seen. Perhaps most frighteningly are the reports of people driving who have suddenly noticed an apparition of the monk sitting beside them in the car. Apart from this, Many other incidents took place that are unexplainable and mysterious. Number five, we have the M6 motorway in England. 
Issue with this road is mainly its long length. People have believed that the long roads are also haunted apart from this. Many funny and mysterious incidents are reported from this road. For example, someone saw marching man soldiers on the road and many interesting characters asking for hitchhiking on the road. Many people also saw vehicles moving in the opposite direction. Road is also reported as haunted by many people. At number 4 we have the Toon Moon Road, Hong Kong. Issue here is the number of accidents and deaths and car crashes. People have reported sightings of dead people. The road is not actually able to hold the modern traffic and mostly remains jammed. On top of it, ghosts are sighted on front of vehicles and trying to avoid hitting them, drivers lose control. Travel this road with caution and keep an eye out for much less cautious pedestrians. Many paranormal activities are reported for years on this spot. At number 3 we have Highway 666, Utah, United States. Now known as Highway 191, the route, the sixth branch of the famous Route 66, is notorious for accidents, apparitions, and just plain bad luck. Linda Dunning writes on PrairieGhost.com about an incident with her husband. He, her author's husband, was alone and hadn't seen cars for miles and miles. Suddenly, he saw a truck that looked like it was on fire headed straight toward him, right down the middle of the highway. The truck was going so fast that sparks were flying up off the wheels and flames were coming from the smokestack. It scared him so bad that he pulled way off the road and walked 20 feet or so into the desert away from his car and waited for the truck to pass him, going what he estimated was 130 miles per hour. He then got back into his car and continued. If you aren't careful, hellhounds will shred your tires. A young girl walking down the road will vanish if you try to help her. If you're alone, a ghost may take up residence in your back seat. Dunning has this to say for advice. Take a lot of people with you and don't leave any space for unwanted passengers who just might decide to appear in your back seat. Pull off the road if a huge diesel truck comes down from either direction. Do not be curious to see if there is another driver in the single car passing you on at night. Do not look for lights floating in the sky. Hope you do not see any young girls in white dresses. Never stop if you spot something particular and do not pick up hitchhikers. Lastly, if demon dogs approach you in the night, just keep driving. At number two, we have A229 from Sussex to Kent, England. This road is not recommended if you are the faint of heart. Another contender for England's most haunted roads is A229. The local constabulary are not strangers to calls of people plowing into pedestrians, more specifically a woman in white, only to lose track of the body. If you are passing a lower bell pub towards Maidstone, do not be too surprised if that hitchhiker vanishes before you reach your destination. The ghost woman is generally regarded as that of Judith Langham, who was tragically killed in a collision of her wedding day, still in her dress. Lastly, at number one, we have Clinton Road, Passaic County, New Jersey. If you're visiting the road at midnight, stop by the bridge at Dead Man's Curve for a game of catch. Toss pennies into the water, and the ghost of a young boy will toss them back. A gray wolf with red eyes will stalk you from the bushes. Satan worshippers will hang up their bloody clothes to dry right next to the mutilated animals. The ruins of a castle resides in the woods. If you find yourself in the wrong section of woods, expect to be chased out by Satanists or the Ku Klux Klan. Weird animals speculated to be survivors and inbred specimens from the abandoned nearby zoo, Jungle Habit, from which most of the animals escaped. A dangerous curve that has been the demise of many and unwary drivers is rumored to be heavily haunted. Phantom pickup trucks will gladly escort you from the road, will chase you, weird lights flying in the sky will draw your attention upward, away from the blood stains on the pavement. This road is not a joke. Regardless of your stance on the paranormal, it is confirmed fact that many dangerous groups gather here for less than savory activities, and they do not like to be disturbed. Tell us in the comments section which part of our video you like the most, and tell us about any haunted experience you had. For more interesting and top 10 videos, subscribe to this channel.